Welcome to index number two of my Discord bot tutorial with TypeScript and Illustrator. Now today we'll be making a simple ping command with uh, the Illus library and an array.ts file. So first, if you hop over to your uh, Explorer of choice or your um, search engine of choice, I'm using Google Chrome for this one. Uh, you can look up this website, it's called uh, HTTPS uh, slash slash www.abel.mol slash error slash docs.client or you can switch up alias documentation and click on the first link. So this is where you can access a bunch of methods and classes of the alias library. Uh, here I have the client open but you can also look at the other ones like uh, guild, message, member, uh, and text channels. So uh, if we go back to VS Code you can see that uh, I have the main.ts file open, and I have uh, the yarn watch script running. Uh, you can check out the previous video, index number one, if you want to, where I t taught how to um, make a script like this, so we can watch our ts file. And basically what this does is you can just type in yarn watch or yarn, I, don't, I mean, uh, or npm watch if you're using npm. So this will automatically compile a TypeScript every single time it, make, uh, it sees that we have a change. And now in our other terminal, you can just click this plus button to add a new terminal, and you can just type in yarn dev, and this will go ahead and start up a new nodemon server for us. And you'll see that it'll start it up, and... Here we go. So now you can see that um, it started. Again, you can just ignore this error because currently Illustrator isn't supporting it any uh, the um, stage channels yet. And in public launch in our main.ts file, we can make a new line and we can type in this.bot.on. And what what this will do is it'll listen for any event that occurs. So Specifically, the event we're looking for is message create. And what message create does is if we ever see like a message, if the bot is in a channel and sees a message like uh, um, like ping or anything, uh, it'll automatically detect it and it'll send it to this. So this is just listening for the message. And then we have we need to have a callback function. And the next the next argument for this method is, There we go. The next argument for this uh, method is we have a listener. And what, what this will do is every single time it sees a new message created, it'll call this function. So in this function, we have an argument called message. And if you hover over it, you'll see that it's a type of, no, uh, wait. There we go. If you hover over it, we'll see that it's a type of illus.message, illus.possibly uncached taxable channel. So basically what this is saying is that it's a type of a message which we can find over in our illus documentation. So if you take a look down here, you can see that we have a message and there's all these properties on it such as activity, application, attachments. The one we're looking for is content and this is basically what the message is saying. So over here, um, we can take a look and we can say see that let's say somebody sends uh, explanation point ping in chat, we can message.content will just return the string. So let's come up here and we can go uh, over here. And if we just say over here, for example, console.log, hold on, I saw console.log, console.log message.content. Uh, and we save this file, we can see on our first terminal, it automatically recompiled the code, and on the second terminal, we are starting node dist index.js again, and it's starting to run. I'm going to open up Discord uh, real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright, uh, I opened up Discord, and if we switch over to Chrome real quick, uh, we can see that I have a channel open and this YT bot is online. 
So right here, if we type in something like our uh, exclamation point pane, if we have head over to VS Code, we can already see that it has this message right here, uh, exclamation point ping, and that is the message.content that was received. So let's say we wanted to reply with Pong every time it uh, saw a ping in the chat. What we can do is we can uh, we can highlight this line, uh, and we can say if if message.content equals 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 and in JavaScript, uh, unlike a lot of other languages, if you want to compare the type of two variables, you use triple equal signs instead of double equal signs. So this is just uh, a best practice, if you will. If message.content equals ping, then we are just going to say message.channel, uh, message.channel.send, no, wait, uh, it's create message. And you'll see right here, it says that property create message dot does not exist on type possibly uncached textable channel. So what this is telling us is that actually in this case, message dot channel dot create message, this might not be a function if it's, for example, in a um, in a channel that cannot be that you cannot send messages in. So up here we'll have to say if message dot guild ID. And this is another uh, this is another property of method and message. If you go over to message, you can see that the guild ID is the ID of the guild in this message. And we don't want to do it if it's in a DM, so we can just say uh we can just check if this is undefined, and if it is, then it's a DM. So if we come over here, if me if not message guild ID. So that means if there is no guild on this message object, then we can just say return. And basically, this is this just st skips over everything, so we don't do anything if there's no uh, guild. And then we can say message.channel, we can cast this in TypeScript, uh, and we can say message.channel as text channel. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. So message dot channel as text channel dot create message, and now you can see it's still giving us an error, but it's not the same error you got before, since now message dot channel is a text channel, and we know we can send a message to it. And now let's just send create a message that says pong. So what this will do if we run through this, this line says that if there's no guild on the message, we don't want to be replying to a DM. So we just return, and none of the uh, following stuff happens. If it is a tech, if it is a guild channel, then we check if the message says ping. If it is ping, then we say message dot channel as text channel. This makes this tells TypeScript that for sure we know that's a text channel, and we should just continue as a text channel. So in the text channel, we have a create message, which you can take a look at over here. Oh wait, uh, wrong one. We can take a look at over here, and it says. Um, text channel. There we go. We can say we can see that it says create message, and it says content and file. So content can either be a string or an object. In this case, we're using a string, and it basically just sends a string into the channel. So we hop back over here. Dot create message pong. So we're just basically sending pong into the chat. Now, if we save this file, it'll automatically recompile and always start just like that. It's a little bit laggy since I'm recording on OBS right now, but it should be a lot faster if you're using your own machine. We'll wait for the messages to start rolling in. Remember we had this console.log bot is online. And oh oops. And I'll say say bot is online. So now if we head over to Discord, we can type in uh exclamation point ping. And it should reply as Pong. There we go. We got the bot to say Pong. And one last thing I forgot to mention. What I'm using here is called an error function. And it's a lot easier to write an error function than a normal function. This is the equivalent of in JavaScript of you typing function uh, test of message and 
doing this. These two are equivalent, just that in this case, you don't need to type the entire word function out, you just need to type an arrow. And one last thing, if you want your bot to have like a custom status, like if you look over here in my server, uh, let's say Dank Miwu, it says, playing a game, please help. So if you come over here, we can do that by going to launch, and we can say this dot bot, and this is another method dot set status status, I mean uh, edit status, and this will set the status of the bot. So over here we can say do not disturb, which is D and D idle offline or online, and let's just say I don't know we choose D and D for this one. We can then have a game, which is an object, and if you type in control space in VS Code, you can get all the stuff inside of game. So let's say the name equals um, making a tutorial, and then, wait, oh, that, that won't work, but um, let's say we have, huh, where should we put it? Let's just say uh, YouTube, and as the type, uh, we can just set it to zero. Now what zero means is that it's going to say playing. So uh, in the status, it's going to say playing YouTube. And uh, if you want to look into it, you can go with the documentation and you can take a look at client and take a look at set status. I think. Oh, uh, it's not here, uh, but you should be able to find it somewhere. And anyways, it basically the set status, it takes in an argument for what status it should have, like online, invisible, um, offline, do not disturb, and it says type zero, which is playing, and it says YouTube. So now if you compile this, and we wait for it to rerun, In a second here. All right, and if you go back to Discord, we can say we can see that now it says YT bot playing a game YouTube, and that's how you can make the bot have a custom status and have it respond to uh, exclamation point ping was pong. Thanks for watching and. That's the end of my tutorial.